Good afternoon. As the Sons of Liberty rise to the defense of the nation, a series of five tableau vivants by Mr. and Mrs. Bill and Kathleen Fannin. This afternoon, we are pleased to present the Sons of Liberty rise to the defense of the nation. It was indeed a cruel day when the guns fired upon the stalwart walls of Fort Sumter and began this dreadful conflict in which we are now engaged, the American Civil War. Many of you have sent husbands, fathers, sons, lovers to the nation's defense. Today's entertainment is presented to honor those brave volunteers, to honor all the troops from Missouri, and to honor the new recruits from Saline County who have today joined the Union Army. Scene one, peace and prosperity across the land. The nation, undivided, lived in peace and prospered well. Before the guns of rebeldom were fired and Sumter fell, each mother's heart was happy then within the family dear. Each father's heart was strong and sure that there was naught to fear. Our mothers kept our families clothed, our fathers tilled the soil, and all enjoyed the harvest of their labors and their toil. Peace reigned with prosperity across the nation's breadth until that day on Sumter's walls when both were put to death. <laughs> Scene two, the beast, secession, destroys peace and prosperity. The beast, secession, was unleashed to spawn his foul deeds, and patriots across the land would feel the nation bleed. How many loving families would soon be torn asunder because someone had fired the guns which boomed with rebel thunder. Prosperity and peace were dead. Fair liberty in chains. To set her free required a war. How many would be slain? Combat with the beast secession. 
The battle raged as war was waged. The bullets swarmed like bees. As shot and shell upon them fell, men writhed in agony. Many brave and stalwart lads went forth to meet the foe, and many met their maker as the fight raged to and fro. Locked in mortal combat with the bloody rebel beast, the Union struggled mightily for liberty and peace. With musket butt and bayonet in bloody confrontation, our heroes fought across the land to reunite the nation. return, our hero rests in liberty's arms. The beast is slain, the war is done, fair liberty unbound. Alas, with loving, within her loving arms our dying youth is found. He fought to free fair liberty and gave his life so dear. With no regrets or his sad fate, our brave young volunteer. Though he lies dead, his sacrifice has not been made in vain. Prosperity and peace will make the Union whole again. Then let us sound a loud huzzah for all our heroes brave who willingly laid down their lives fair liberty to save. Nice round here, so. 